Now that some schools are into online learning, how hard is it to have a fluctuating and unreliable internet connection? Gab, a high school student, is very disappointed just thinking about it. Hindi po namin ma-receive yung mga files na sinesend sa amin ng mga teacher. Even though it's synchronous po yung ano namin, yung classes namin, mahirap pa rin po talaga. Maayos na internet connection. Yan ang isang malaking hamon ngayon para sa mga estudyante at guro. Ang tanong ng mga estudyante na bigong makasali sa online class, mamarkahan ba silang absent? Because of the typhoon, the students of Annabelle's class have been affected. Though they are now in online and modular classes, a good internet connection is still needed. But because of the typhoon, internet connection has slowed down. A lot of people are doing what I'm doing right now, working from home. But with all those people connected at the same time, you might notice your internet speed slow down. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Out of the study, access to the internet has become a sore spot for the Philippines lately. Now that people are working from home, most are finding that their personal provider are slow, unreliable, or worse, unavailable as in there is no connection to the World Wide Web at all. In the Internet Affordability Index, which measured the time required to afford the cheapest mobile and broadband internet in the country, the Philippines land at 82 best in only few countries such as Guatemala, Costa Rica, and Albania. Israel wins the round as the country with the most affordable internet. According on Double Visa News TV, Albay Representative Joe Seseda cited data showing that only 70% of Filipino students have internet access at home, while only 3.74% own cell phones that can connect to the internet, and added that only some 5% of the students have internet access that's stable enough for online learning activities. The Philippines ranked 101st among 179 countries in terms of fixed line internet speed in 2019. The country average speed of 19.51 Mbps was much lower than the global average of 57.91 Mbps. The Digital Quality of Life Index, a recent study by VPN provider Surfshark, affirms this connectivity was. Overall, the Philippines, which is highlighted twice in the 32 pages report, and not in a good way, wrong 66 out of 85 countries in terms of digital well-being. The purpose of this phenomenological study is to determine the impacts of the slow internet connection to the academic performance of students in online class. It's sad to answer the following specific question. First, what are the impacts of slow internet connection to academic performance of students? Second, what is the average level of your internet? Third, what internet access do you use? The objective of this study is to know the impacts of slow internet connection to the academic performance of students in online class. Research Design This qualitative research is phenomenological study. Phenomenology is solely concerned with the study of experience from possible participants, the students. The phenomena portray on the impacts of slow internet connection. Internet, an electronic communication network that connects computer networks and organizational computer facilities around the world. Online class is a course conducted over the internet. Digital Quality of Life Index, the study indexes the countries by looking at the five fundamental pillars, namely internet affordability, internet quality, electronic infrastructure, electronic security, and electronic government that define the digital quality of life. Phenomenological study, the analysis of phenomena as they manifest in our experience, the way we interpret and understand phenomena, and the interpretation of concept in the subjective experience is generally known as phenomenology. World Wide Web, the World Wide Web, commonly referred to as WWW, W3, or the Web 
is an interconnected system of public web page accessible through the internet. Broadband Internet Broadband is a data communication transmission in telecommunication which carries multiple signals and types of traffic. Probability Sampling means that every member of the population has a chance of being selected. Due to the fact that students will experience low internet connection, the researchers are chosen randomly in the strand of academic strand. Since these 20 respondents experience the struggle the most in the class. The questionnaire is the main instrument used in gathering data. To gather data and information, the researchers use Google Form for the survey. Conclusion To sum up the study, the proponents search or studies the different effect or impact of having a slow internet connection during an online class. Students said, that it affects their academic performances during class hour due to the fact that they are not capable of listening well to their teachers or lessons while in the class because of the poor internet connection. On the other hand, the proponents also came up with a possible solution to overcome the poor internet connection during class. Thought, some of the students are not capable of getting an internet connection such as PLDT, Converge, or Glue. Result, the gathered data from the 20 grade 12 general academic strand who serve as the respondents of this research. It provides analysis and interpretation of the data has been organized. The researchers use probability sampling to determine the result of the study. Statement of the problem 1. What are the impacts of slow internet connection to the academic performance of students? Figure 1 shows that 45% of the students of general academic strand feels left behind and experience misavenues of communication, while 10% of the students had lack of academic performance. Statement of the problem 2. What is the average level of your internet? Figure 2 shows that 60% of the students has 5 Mbps of internet, while 30% of the students said none of the above, and 10% of the students has 25 Mbps of internet. Statement of the problem 3. What internet access do you use? Figure 3 shows that 55% of the students uses mobile data, while 35% of the students uses Wi-Fi, and 10% of the students uses broadband to access the internet.